physics, mechanics, projectiles. Did you try them? And how were they? You're shaking your head. I added in one extra question. So there's six. I did that last night. It's okay. Right, the first one. What is the maximum height and range of projectile fired at 50-50? Okay, so in the first one here, Oh yeah, and also I have one question to do from the last one too. I'll do that as well. Okay, so it's fired here at 50 meters per second, an angle of 50 degrees. Oh, I'll turn the light off just a moment. And um, 50 cos 50. So this one here is 32.14 meters per second and 50 sine 50 50 sine 50 so this one here is 38.3 uh, meters per second okay so uh, firstly I would like to know hey you made it bus trouble which bus do you get? 16. Okay, so um, U V A T S. Should I look at X or Y? No, I can look at the range and height before. Yeah, so I'll do the Y first. 38.3. Minus 9.81, 0. Yeah, so I'm looking at the Y. No? Yes. Yeah. So you have S equals UT plus a half AT squared, 0 Wait, equals. Um, if you want to find the height, then we need to I'm getting the range first, oh. actually, yeah. Yeah, yeah, sorry, I was. I, I know it should be the other way. I'm getting the uh, this one first. Oh, that means the x first. All right, no, I'll just get the maximum height first. It's confusing people. <laughs> right, I'll get this one first. Uh, U thirty-eight point three V zero A minus nine point eight one. Happy. Happy. Very good. V equals U plus A T. 0 equals 38.3 minus 9.81t, so t equals 38.3 divided by 9.81, so I get t is 3.9 seconds, and now I can get the s, which is ut plus a half at squared, which would be 38.3 times 3.9 minus 9.81 over 2, 3.9 squared. Yeah? Then S equals. This is the maximum height now. 38.3 times 3.9 minus 9.81 over 2 times 3.9 squared, uh, so 74.76. Did you get that? No. What did you get? Uh, you mean the maximum? Yeah. No, no, minus 70 percent. Minus? Yeah. Because my time is different. What's your time? No, that's the time to hear. Did you make V0 or F0? No, I use this one. Yes, you should use this V for the maximum height. Yes? Is it supposed to be negative because the S? But it's height, right? So height doesn't matter if it's negative. Does it? 
<laughs> um, this is what I'm doing. I'm doing it like this. Yeah. Uh, but you're right. Height should be positive, anyways. Yes. Okay. Can I do the next part of this? So. So for the next part, uh, U V A T F. Right. So the U. 38.3, the V, don't know, A, minus 9.81, T, we don't know, and S is zero. That's for this part now, to here. So I'll use my formula, S equals UT plus a half AT squared. So I get zero equals 38.3 minus a half of A, so that's four. <sighs> 4.405, isn't it? <coughs> no. 4. Point oh my goodness, I'm tired. 4.905. T here, T here, squared here. Alright. So here. I think this is what you've got, Amanda. 7.81 seconds. So now you want to look at the horizontal. U is 32.14. V we don't know. A is 0. T we do know now. T we know is 7.81. And S is what we want. So you can have S equals UT plus a half a t squared, the a is zero, so you have s equals u t, but the s is the range, so the range equals, so this is 32.14 times 7.81, uh, 251 meters, that's the range. Is that okay, Grace? Mm. You make a mistake? Mm, no, I didn't make it. Oh my goodness, why not? Uh, oh, okay. Which part? Maximum height? Yeah. Correct. 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 Yeah. So v squared equals v squared plus 2ax. Number two, a boy kicks, now I added one question in, but I don't remember where I added it. Did you do this one, number two? No. Is this the one I added? Yeah. yeah. So a boy kicks uh, a bottle off a cliff, it's 100 meters above the ground, the angle is 30 and the speed is 20. Okay, so what's happening here in my number two, cliff. And then the boy kicks it, and the angle is 30, and the speed is 20, um, and the uh, mountain here, the hill, is 100 meters, and uh, yeah, that's everything. So, okay, first part, you want this one, which is 30 cos 20, uh, sorry, 20 cos 30. So that is 
17.32 meters per second. And then the other one is 20 sine 30, which is 10 meters per second. So if I look at the Y, the ball's going to go up and crash down here. What's the U? 10. V, don't know. A? Minus 9.81. T, we don't know. And F? Very good. <laughs> I want the T. So uh, which formula? Mm, F yeah, equals? I don't understand why you're getting so again. The, how far it travels. Okay, so why is the U 10? Oh, uh, vertical. So should it have to be in centimeters? Vertically. Which V? The final velocity, because when it goes up, it stops, right? No, no, I'm going all the way to the ground. Oh, okay. To here. Okay. Yeah. Um, F equals UT plus a half AT squared minus 100 equals 10T plus a half AT squared. So you have 4.905T squared. Minus 10t minus 100 equals zero. What's the name of uh, Grace? What's the name of this equation? Do you know? Begins with a Q. What? No. So yes, that would quadratic. So you get two answers here. The first answer is 5.65. The second answer is negative. So forget about it. So finally now we can get the range here. The range equals Fx, which is ut plus a half at squared, but that part's zero. So it's just going to be 17.32 times 5.65. So you get uh, 97.9. The range. Yeah. Okay. On to number three, which I think is your number two. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Yeah? No. Maybe? horizontally. No, next one. The, you did the baseball one. A baseball player hits a baseball bat with bat at a speed of 44 and an angle of 40. Uh, how far does the baseball travel? So 40 and 44. Okay. What you have to be careful about here is it starts at 0 0.9 meters. Um, what did I say the speed was? Uh, 44. 44. Yeah. And the angle? 40 degrees. Okay, so this would be 44 cos 40, 44 sine 40. 44 cos 40, so that is 33.71 meters per second. And then 44 sine 40, 28.28 meters per second. Uh, okay, so first I'll get the time. U, V, A, T, F. The U is 
28.28, the V we don't know, A minus 9.81, T we don't know, and F, if I want to go to here, yeah, so we can go straight into F equals U T plus a half A T squared, so again, this is, well, it's negative, so I just said plus, but it's plus a minus number. That one, that one, that one. So when you solve this, you get t equals 5.8 seconds. So now we can do the horizontal. U is 33.71, V we don't know, A is 0, T is 5.8. So the range is F, which is UT plus a half AT squared. That part's gone. So the range is 33.71 times 5.8. Then the range is... One hundred and ninety six millimeters. Okay, did you get that? Yes. One hundred percent correct. Good job. Okay, next one. Amanda? You didn't get this? No. What did you get? How similar? That's fine, it's fine, it's fine. All right. Next. Um, the goalkeeper kicks a football at 45. The ball has a range of 50. How fast did he kick it? So this one's interesting because it's going backwards. You don't know the speed. You know the angle. So this one here is x cos 45 which will be x over root 2 and then here this is x sine 45 and what do I say the range is? what's the range? I think I said 50 meters so how fast did he kick it? so what's the x? okay so first let's get the time u v a t f u x over root 2 V, we don't know, A minus 9.81, T, we don't know, and F is 0. F equals U, T, plus a half A, T squared. So we get this, minus this. So the time, divided by square root 2, if you uh, take that over, yeah, and actually maybe I should make it a bit clearer what I'm doing. So here you get x over root 2 equals 4.905t, so then that means t equals x over 4.905 root 2. 1 divided by 4.905. <sighs> root 2. So here you get t equals 0 0.1442x. You don't know the x. Um, but you do know, if I can go down, you do know the next part, kind of, the range. u is x over root 2. v we don't know. a is 0. t is 0 0.1 well, we'll leave it for a moment. F is 50. So you have F equals UT plus a half AT squared. That's gone. F is 50. U is this. And then the T is this. So here we get 50 root 
0.2 over 0 0.1442, that's equal to x squared. 50 root 2 divided by 0 0.1442, square root the answer, and I got x is 22.14 meters per second. Next one, um, five. A diver jumps from a high board which is three meters high, her angle is 60 and her speed is five. What's her maximum height? Okay. So we have a high board and this is three meters. And you climb up. Then you jump. Sorry, she. Uh, and then she goes up and down. Ooh. Uh, so we want to know the maximum height here. I think I say the speed is 5 meters per second and the angle is 60 degrees. So this one is 5 cos, 5 sine. 5 cos 60, which is 2.5 meters per second, and 5 sine 60, which is 4.33 meters per second. So at the top, you know the V is 0. Okay, so you have U, V, A, T, S, U, 4.33. V, 0, A, minus 9.81, T, we don't know, S, we don't know. Um, v squared equals U squared plus 2AS. 0 equals 4.33 squared minus 2A, well, yeah, plus with a minus here, if you prefer, S. So I got here S is 0 0.9556 meters, but that's not her maximum height. What, need to, what do I need to do now? What should I do to this number? Is this the answer? No. I should add 3. So the maximum height is 3.96. Yeah. Next one. The cannon fires a cannonball at a pirate ship. The cannon is at the top of a 300 meter cliff. It fires at an angle theta. Okay, so let me draw this so far. So this is 300 meters. And then here is my cannon. And we want to hit a pirate ship. Oh yeah. And then we put our little flag on top. Beautiful. 
Uh, so the cannonball wants to hit the ship. Now you know that the ship is, um, let's see, 200 meters away. Yeah, and the speed here, the cannonball is 33.3 meters per second. No, just 33. Uh, yeah. Now for this question, I don't want you to find theta. I just want you to make an equation with theta in it. So that if you could solve it, you know the answer. Um, so here the angle is theta. So we have um, this one here and then this one here. So this one would be 30, sorry, 33 cos theta. And then up here, 33 sine theta. Okay? So we'll look at the y first because we know this distance here. So u v a t f, the u 33 cos theta, v we don't know, a is 0, t we don't know, s is 200. Yeah? <laughs> I meant to say X. Yep. Um, so here we can say S equals UT plus a half AT squared. The A is zero. 200 equals 33 cos theta times T. So the T is 200 over 33 cos theta, which equals 200 divided by 33. So if you want, you can write that as 6.06 .06 over cos theta. That's the time. The time is 6.06 .06 over cos theta. No, goodness, no. Because this equation has two unknowns in it. We couldn't solve this for theta. So there's a second half. Uh, by the way, if the theta was, for example, zero, how long would it take to hit the pirate ship? No, 6.06 .06 seconds. Yeah, can you see that? What if the theta was 90 degrees? How long would it take to hit the pirate ship? Never. Never, because uh, what's cos 90? Cos 90? Zero. Zero. Divide by zero, that's infinity. So it'll never hit the ship. Anyway, next part is now we look at the y. U is 33 sine theta. V is, don't know. A is minus 9.81. T we do know from here. It's 6.06 .06 divided by cos theta. And the S, what's the S? It's, um, what is it? 200. Minus 300. Yes. Yeah, it's it's going down 300. Sorry? Yeah. Up a little bit and then goes down, right? Oh, don't forget what S stands for. Oh, right, right. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So uh, we'll use S equals U T plus a half A T squared again. I'll write it over here and put a line or something. Uh, S equals U T plus a half A T squared. So minus 300 equals 30, minus 300 equals 33 sine theta times T, which is 6.06 .06 over cos theta plus a half A uh, T squared, which is 6.06 .06 over 
cos theta. So you get minus 300 equals Two hundred sine theta, this number times this number, minus one hundred and eighty point one over sorry, that's sine over cos. And then this one here is um cos squared theta. Now I don't like the cos squared here. Well, you know what? No, actually I'll just leave it like this. Minus 300. Does anyone know what sine over cos is? Sine over cos is? Uh, tan. Times tan. So we get 200 tan theta plus 180.1 times 1 over cos squared theta minus 300 equals 0. Now I don't, uh, I don't need you to solve this. That's not what I ask you to do. I just said in the question to make the equation. Did you write this down? Yeah? <coughs> um, in semester two, in math, you can solve it. In semester one, no. Okay. What's wrong? Did you write this equation down? Yeah, because I need you to read it back to me. Uh, let me just check one thing. Sign. No. Um. <sighs> Function. 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 The angle in radius is okay. Right. Um angle zero equation okay. can you read the equation to me what's the equation 200 200 times tan theta Oh, so then plus uh, one hundred eighty times one over cos. And finally. Minus 300? Yes? Yeah. So if I use uh, 0, it doesn't equal 0. If I try an angle of 1 degree, it's still not 0. So this is one way to solve it. We can keep trying angles until it equals 0. So we'll go all the way down to we know 90 doesn't work, so we'll stop at 89. 
88, 89. Okay. Uh, so have a guess. What type of angle do you think? Maybe something like 40 degrees, 45, something like this. So we'll keep going up until we see something that's nearly zero. So negative, 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 negative. Oh. Nothing. It's impossible. Wait, 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 wait. Now, it's something happening here because it goes from being negative to positive. So there's some angle here. Yes, so what we'll do is instead of increasing by 1 degrees, we'll increase by 0 0.1 degrees. Oh, okay, maybe. Okay, let's try now. Oh, it's getting closer. It goes from negative to positive here. So let's increase by 0 0.01 degrees. Somewhere here. So we'll increase by zero zero one. Um so do you get what I'm doing here? I'm trying to guess the answer. So you can see that the answer is some angle that must be around about eighty six degrees. One more, for fun. Yeah, there's a one down. Uh, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> no. So, uh, 86.5824 will be the value that makes it nearly zero in the equation. Yeah. Did you get what I was doing here? Yeah. Um, so yeah, about, now I don't ask you to solve it, but you can see that it's about 86.6, the angle. Theta is about 86.6 degrees. Okay, I want to do that question from yesterday that I skipped at the end. <laughs>